Hey guys, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. This is Naveen here. So guys, today I'm going to cover uh, uh, one more very important Java concept or uh, I would say very, very evergreen, uh, you know, interview equation, Java interview equation that why strings, a string is uh, immutable in Java. Okay, why a string is final or immutable. Okay, so it's a very famous interview question and most of the people I heard that okay, they are not actually aware about it. Why, what do you mean by immutable? What do you mean by final? Why a string class is immutable? Okay, how exactly uh, Java or uh, the founder of Java or the Java team, okay, they have developed a string as a very special class, which is immutable class. What is the actual purpose of that? Okay, so the, the concept here is that why the string is immutable and final okay why this is a very famous interview question so guys uh, what happens that okay the first basic reason the first reason is that the string pool in java okay a string pool in memory in method area so there is a memory in uh, you know there is a memory that is called method area where a string pool is available what do you mean by string pool a string pool uh, how exactly java designer that from the beginning itself they have started that okay they know that okay a string is the most powerful or most frequently used a data type i would say non primitive uh, data type which will be used to store the different string values you can take any example you can take any uh, java program that uh, 99% cases strings are used either you can use like a string name equal to Naveen a string technology equal to selenium a string a school name is equal to this a string 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 all the time the strings are there in every program right so one of the most important thing is that's why they are already aware about it that okay once the actual uh, you know the users they will be using a string is the most frequent uh, you know data type so obviously they have to optimize it so what exactly they are doing what exactly they have done that they say that okay uh, if you are creating so many strings right in the memory then obviously that we have to main we have to use some optimized way so what exactly they were doing that if you create the string like this let's see a string s1 is equal to i'll write java right and a string s2 is equal to that is also java now what will happen inside the memory inside the memory what will happen so let's see this is the memory right or i would say this is the memory okay inside this particular memory this is the let's see this is the method area in this particular method area this is string pool will be available okay so this is a method area and what will happen the moment we write this particular uh, string s1 equal to java or s2 equal to java right so this string s1 okay the reference variable will be stored over here and then the string let's say s2 is here right the string s2 is here and this is a common uh, you know the common value java is given to s1 java is given to s2 as well so this common string value will be referred by okay both the variables a string s1 as well as a string s2 okay so let's see tomorrow we have 10 different string variables having the same value java so it's not going to create inside the memory it's not going to create 10 different values all the values will be represented okay by the different variables string variables this is the biggest advantage okay this is the most powerful optimized way because if let's see tomorrow we are using any different kind of uh, uh, you know same string which is assigned to a different variables right the common memory uh, allocation will be given to this particular string java and uh, this will be the common value for all the string s1 and s2 or s3 and s4 whatever okay but tomorrow let's say string s3 is coming right then what will happen if s3 s3 is equal to let's see it is selenium so what will happen if you write a string s3 equal to seleniums another string will be okay another string pool will be created for selenium right like this over here and s3 is representing this actually the string s3 will be like this 
okay s3 like this so java will be given to s1 and s2 it will not create any duplicate values now why strings are immutable what do you mean by immutable immutable means that i cannot change the state of the object i cannot change the value okay with this particular reference variable so strings are immutable strings are final why because if you write a string s1 equal to java now tomorrow let's assume strings are mutable not immutable let's see strings are mutable then what will happen if a string is mutable tomorrow s2 change the value to c++ i'll write like this right in the next line s2 is equal to c++ earlier s2 was java now s2 is equal to c++ so what will happen inside the memory c++ will be created and then now we are converting the value from java to c++ and the same value will be given to s1 s2 s3 and s4 s5 also so this is the biggest problem if s1 changes the object from java to let's see c++ or maybe s2 is changing the value from c++ to or java to c++ then what will happen then all the reference variable also got the same value c++ s1 also now uh, pointing to c++ right because we are changing the value right we are changing the value from okay java to c++ now so that's why strings are immutable that i cannot change the value this is the biggest advantage so that's why by making a string as immutable the sharing of a string was possible it means the key idea of a string pool cannot be implemented without making a string final or immutable in java it means strings are final and strings are immutable it, the values cannot be changed okay so this is the first reason second reason the guys that is uh, the security right the security is the reason that why security so java guys they have already clear goal in their mind that okay that okay uh, you know to provide the security for the secure environment and all such stuff at the entry level of uh, any kind of application where a uh, lot of uh, resources lot of java classes are there which are using strings and everything right as a parameter right as a database connection also we have to pass the uh, string parameters as a network layer also we have uh, string parameters if you write any java program at the network layer database layer services layer api layer everywhere strings are available now tomorrow let's see one hacker is here and one hacker having the bad intention and they can change the value of the reference variable it will it may disturb the entire application right let's see they are changing the path of the uh, path of the uh, some certificates they are changing the path of the database connectivity or database connection name which is available in a string they are going to change the name so everywhere it will be impacted right so now you assume that let's say a string is not immutable a user might have grant granted to access a particular file in the system but let's see authentication is getting failed they are changing the value of the authentication in the form of a string so all the users will have the same authentication so that is the biggest security threat right so that's why to provide the security as well okay we use okay we use uh, strings as a immutable object strings are final objects so this is the second reason behind that okay the third reason guys that is maybe you guys are not aware about it class loading mechanism okay most of some people maybe they are not aware about what do you mean by class loading mechanism so the class loading mechanism is that uh, because uh, strings are heavily used in this particular mechanism that whenever uh, a particular class is loaded we have to use in the form of uh, class loading and let's see uh, you can take the uh, you know example of all the java input java io packages reader classes and uh, writer classes let's see or uh, database connectivity also we have to load the class right so as a string let's see is a string is not immutable let's assume then what will happen then any attacker or hacker can take the advantage of this fact and request to load a standard java classes let's see they want to read some information in the form of a string uh, uh, you know a string file name or something like that which can be changed okay by the hacker and it will impact the entire system in that case also okay uh, uh you know it will be a problem for the programmer it will be a problem for the application that okay because the strings are not mutable i mean the strings are uh, mutable not immutable so in that case it will be a problem so that's why they have created um, you know that data should not be stolen 
So that's why they have created a string final and immutable because no one can change the value for that. So in class loading mechanism also, this is important. Fourth reason guys that, uh, uh, you know, obviously that uh, optimization and the performance. Okay, optimization and the performance. What is optimization and performance that, uh, Obviously, when we have created that, uh, uh, you know, a string as an immutable class, the the class is not going to change once it is created. Obviously, this is the concept of immutable in the final, right? That, uh, okay, the path of the many performance optimization, like let's see the in caching servers, uh, you know, like that, they are using a lot of hash codes and everything, right? So no need to generate n number of hash codes for multiple strings. Now, let's see for a string s1 equal to here storing java and s2 is equal to java so for each and every uh, string value we create hash code internally let's assume if having multiple duplicate values then in that case you have to generate multiple hash codes duplicate hash code also especially in hash map right so that is the biggest reason uh, if you create a string as Im Im immutable and final so no need to create no need to generate the hash code again and again in that case uh, you know, you can optimize and you can increase the performance of your, uh, you know, performance of the code automatically. Okay, so this is the fourth biggest disadvantage with, I mean, biggest advantage with a string. Why? Because the strings are immutable and final. Another is that why a string is final? Because a string is final because, uh, 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 let's see, a string class declared as a final and final is used to provide the constant values as well as final is used to prevent the inheritance. Let's see in a string class, uh, uh, you have defined some strings over there or right and uh, some variables are defined over there, right? But whatever uh, the child classes are available or if you are going to override the string class, okay? And you can override the methods and you can change the state of the strings. In that case, it will be a problem. So that's why a string class is finally declared, okay? Declared with final keyword that it cannot be inherited. Okay, so that is a, another example of why the strings are final and immutable, right? So, and this particular actually, uh, you know, came after JDK 1.5, this particular change that after final and, final and immutable, okay, strings. So that's why they were already aware about it and they know that, okay, uh, strings will be used frequently in every, each and every program at the enterprise level, at the backend layer or maybe network layer or any protocol layer. At the front end side also strings are the most frequent used data type right so that's why strings are immutable and so after seeing that uh, strings are uh, you know immutable and final so all the wrapper classes okay guys they might ask you at a time of interview that okay these are the wrapper classes are available that we have uh, uh, integer we have long we have uh, double and float these are the wrapper classes right and uh, that's why java have java designers uh, they have seen this particular advantage that okay because they have seen a string class has been made final and immutable in java and of course it's a decision of java designer that uh, all the immutable classes i mean all the wrapper classes also immutable and and final so that is again another interview question that okay that uh, all the wrapper classes integer long double float okay these are the wrapper classes which are also immutable and finally declared right so this is that's why like guys always remember whenever you create let's see i'll quickly i'll show you one program as well that uh, let me give you one program let's see i'm going to create uh, class my class name is string concept select the main method and click on finish now what will happen guys if I write like this now see internally I'll show you how exactly it works string s1 is equal to let's see I'm writing Java right and string s2 is equal to Java and then I'm printing system dot out print and an s1 and system dot out print and an s2 if you run this program let's quickly run it okay both are getting printed ah.
just a minute so let me change the name maybe the class name is already available okay yeah so okay so let's see i have two strings string s1 equal to java and s2 equal to java okay same let's see java and java and if you run this program simple java is getting printed now what is happening inside the pool guys it is happening like this inside the pool uh you know in uh, this particular java object will be created like this the value will be uh, okay stored over here but referred by s1 and s2 commonly okay s1 is also referring to java and s2 is also referring to java right like this it's just not going to create two separate java values java and java okay and now if you debug it also now see if i'm going to debug it simple right click on it and debug as java application you will see that if you run it step by step okay now see if you mouse over on s1 it's saying that uh, value id equal to 21 right and s1 equal to java id equal to 15 right and the same thing for s2 also you will check s2 java id equal to 15 and value id equal to 21 for value right so actually what is happening that is presenting the same object i mean the same value object okay presented if you see this particular s1 pointing to same java object java id equal to 15 and s2 equal to you will see java id equal to 15 right so this is the biggest advantage now if you write like this string s3 equal to c plus plus okay now if you uh, if you debug it so again i'll run it s1 s2 and s3 now see the state of s1 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 is java id equal to 15 s2 is also pointing to java so same java id equal to 15 but if you see for s3 separate memory location will be created s3 equal to c plus plus id equal to 23 now right id equal to 23 now this is the thing that okay for c plus plus it will create a separate location which is represented by s3 but now what will happen that okay s2 is equal to now Naveen. now we have changed the value okay now we have changed the value that s2 is equal to Naveen, right so what will happen Naveen will be created over here Naveen will be created over here like this and now s2 is presenting to Naveen now so s2 is presenting to Naveen now it, it is not representing to this guy okay so if you see okay if you see if you debug it simple s1 s2 and s2 let's see so s1 is java id equal to 15 s2 c id equal to 23 now so now okay s2 is not pointing to java id is equal to not 15 now id is equal to the new value id is which is 23 now right so both are s1 and s2 uh, okay pointing to java earlier now the s2 is pointing to naveen so it's not like s1 is also pointing to naveen that's why strings are immutable in nature i cannot change the value okay i cannot change the value of the references now the now assume that uh, strings are mutable strings are mutable let's see the moment i change s2 equal to naveen immediately s1 is also pointing to naveen that is the reason so tomorrow anyone can come and they can change the value so it will embed other variables also so that's why strings are immutable that is the biggest reason behind that right so guys that's all for today i mean that's all for this particular session it's a really really important very easy topic these are the four or five points we have to tell then why strings are immutable in nature and final in nature and you can give this particular example also so don't be confused with this example okay thank you so much guys thanks for watching and if you really like this video guys uh, please subscribe to the channel share with your friends and colleagues and uh, if you have any doubts you can write inside the comment section and then definitely i'll try to uh, give the answers for that and you can subscribe to the channel also please click on the subscribe button thank you so much thanks for watching